Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, I have spent quite a few days now planning out some new fencing. Now, new fencing is probably one of the most important things that we can do here to give structure to the farm, give structure to the animals, but also give structure to the things that we want to plant, like our food forest and things like that. So as a part of our planning process, you'll see here in front of me that I've walked around and I've put all these little yellow flags everywhere so I know where my fence posts are going to go. Now, as a part of this process, I can then determine where my fence gates are going to be in access to collecting that food and, and um, the berries and the fruit and everything off those trees. I can then also plan out the easy access for the cows coming in and out of paddocks maintenance on water troughs and things like that. So as a part of our planning, this is this changes a hundred times. And I, I work it all out and I get there and I change it and I go, no, that's not gonna work, bang, 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 bang. So at the point now, I am now really happy with the way that I've set out my flags, where my posts are gonna go, and we can sort of start moving forward and getting the um, Rotec Rural posts in. Now, one of the reasons why we're doing this is so that we're going to be now introducing regenerative grazing to Fat Cow Farm. So what we have here is three large paddocks, um, and I'm going to slowly start breaking those paddocks down. So I can move the herd from one paddock to the next to the next on a weekly rotation. Um, we're going to be establishing here around about eight paddocks. So by the time that the cows come back around, like on a dial on a clock, this grass and paddock has been rested for two months. Now, what I want to try to achieve is not bringing in supplement hay over winter and things like that, where we've got slow growth periods. Now, at the moment, you know, we're sort of in the middle of spring and things are going very, very well. But the cows are very, very fussy. So they're only taking the best bits and I want to sort of break that cycle in the cows. So come with me, I'm going to go get my um, Rotec Rural Post and I'll see you soon. All right then, so I went and grabbed my um, Rotec Rule drive type post and I'm ready to go. Now, the reason we're using this particular product here at Fat Cow Farm, as, as you can see behind me, we have our large natural bush that I had to fence. Now, I didn't have access up there for tractors or anything like that to do more of the traditional auger, drill hole, put your post in, concrete it in and then off we go. I just didn't have that space in that natural environment. It was just madness. I've got trees and shit going everywhere, all bad. So I started doing some um, research and I found this Australian made product. Drive tight by Rotec Rural. Remember it, it is fantastic. Now, what this is, is like a large star picket and we drive it in, we've got good gal, all the way around 125 mil, so you can put all your accessories, gate hinges and stays and everything else on top. But most importantly, I want to do, when I want to do fencing, I want it to last. Now, as you can see up there, full of bush. Now, if I have a fire come through, and if I did more of a traditional method, we lose our fences and I've got to start again. No way, mate. So, with galvanized posts, star pickets, all the metal mesh that goes with it to set up our fencing, we're already halfway there. I do it once and once only. So I'm gonna get my driver, I'll put it in and I'll show you how it's done. So I'll see you soon. All right, so I've removed my little survey flag. I've got my post in position. I've got my driver on top. I'll give it a couple of taps. We'll get it level and plumb. So I'll see you soon.
All right, so I've already got it in. Three minutes. I suppose we're all sorted. So I'm now going to just put on some attachments down below to give it a little bit more stability. I'll show you what I'm doing there. I'll get the stay ready to go because this is our corner. So until then, I'll see you soon. All right, so we're just going to put on these little stabilizers now. That just gives this post a little bit of extra support. As you can see, it's a star picket um, format. I'll get the star pickets, I'll put them in, and I'll see you soon. All right, so I've already got one star picket in. I'm just finishing off the next one here. These star pickets are about 1,400, all the way in, opposing sides. I'm a bit puffed, so <laughs> watch me get this last one in, and I'll see you soon. All right, so stabilizers are in both sides, opposing angles to the post. Tough as nails, mate. How good's this? In five minutes, we've got it ready to rock and roll. I've got to go get the stay now, and I'll show you how that goes together, because that's fantastic as well. So I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. I've got my stay assembly ready to rock and roll. I've got my galvanized post. I've got my stay pad. I've got my stay tensioning cable and I've also got my stay connector point so really at this point here what we'll find is that I've set this post up with a little bit of a lean okay so it's not quite level and as I tighten this this post will come back towards me so we'll go through the process of how I put this together so I'll see you soon Missed a bit. Alright, my bed stay is up. I've got to tighten everything else up now. And once I've got it all tightened, I'm ready for my mesh. How quick was that? It's a fantastic product. I'll see you soon. Alright, so there we go. My post is in. My stay is all connected, ready to go. I've got to tighten it off. I've got a cap to put on. That sits in there like so. We're ready for mesh. How quick was that? I reckon that whole process here took me 15 minutes at tops. And I mean tops. Didn't even crack a sweat. So, the only thing I can really say to you right now is Rotec Rural Drive Tight System, my God, go the Aussies. You've invented an awesome product. Rotec Rural, Victoria, find it on the internet and you can go from there. Talk to Andrew, I'll see you soon. 
All right then. So for efficient fencing, fireproof, easy to put in on your own, like and subscribe. Fat Cow Farm Tatum. I'll see you soon.